Hi, this is Mimi, born to sparkle and shine. I'm on to the next video. So, um, I want you to connect with others. This is one positive way. This is a continuation of the last video. This is uh, connecting with others can help you a lot with isolation and with not feeling good. So to connect with others to me means I write letters to my friends. I will make a little copy of um, something that touches me in a devotional book I'm reading. I love different kinds of books and I like to like connect to people with those. I try to pick one that pertains to not my judgment of life, but something that might help them because it helps me when I read these daily readings. I um, read them from different sources. I don't have just one source, just one way to read them. I read lots of stuff and I want people to know there's lots of stuff out there. It doesn't have to be only specific for them, but it can be helpful. So connecting with others to me means make phone calls. It also means making sure that you connect by email, by text. My book club has changed over to a party book club because we meet on the house party app. We can't meet in person. We have some people in there that don't have good health. Almost all of us have something going on, like some kind of immune system disorder. And during this time of isolation, we're trying to be careful and take care of each other. So that's one thing we're doing is making sure we're meeting on house party once a month. We do have a book we'll pick. Um, sometimes we pick a book, sometimes we don't. Most people don't read the book, we're just hanging. But anyway, it's about connecting and be able to say, hey, how's it going and what's going on in your life and how's your life different, how's your life better and how are you growing and all that kind of fun stuff. Sometimes it turns into a fuss fest, but it doesn't have to. But connecting with others to me is very important. Seeing people's faces makes a difference. Yes, talking on the phone is good. If you can see each other's faces and interactions, it kind of makes it even better. So just think about how can you connect to your friends. You can send them a positive good morning. It didn't have to be complicated. The note didn't have to be complicated. I buy the notes with all the writing in them because I can read that and think, oh, that relates to this person and that makes my life you know, easier just to like say a couple sentences and go. Because I do, my intention is to pat, spread positivity towards that person. It didn't have to be some long drawn out poem. I'm not a poet. So just do that kind of stuff. Um, connecting with others to me means making sure that you keep in contact. I need to keep in contact better with some people in my life. I'm also planning out, I'm inviting myself to people's houses for outside barbecues. So I've done that once and I've done that. I've got another one of those planned, but, but going and saying, Hey, let's all come to this place and sit down and, you know, be outside in public with each other so we can see each other and try not to touch each other because of isolation and COVID, whatever. But connecting is important. Um, doing something for others. I have come upon some people that aren't really close in my life and they were put into a, a rehabilitation senior home due to an illness. And so I sent them some letters. I don't know them very well, so it's very, very basic, but I hope it brightened their day. Their spouse actually came back and said it did brighten their day. Because I mean, if nobody's sending you stuff, how do you know anybody cares? It starts getting depressing. So some little simple, the price of a stamp, I don't even know what a stamp cost. I just bought a bunch of them and put them on the letters. The price of a stamp is nothing. And for people that I don't know very well, I'll make out four or five cards and mail one per week. Because, I, I mean, I'm just writing out, like, what I think would be helpful to them. And just a, I'm just trying to give them a bright, cheery picture on a card. And um, I also will send off daily inspirational sayings in there, too, that are from different books that I have. But I think it makes a difference because then everyone's connected. And then if everybody's happier in the world, then the world gets more, you know, happiness spread about it. Um, my other thing is smizing. Make sure you're smizing at people. So with the mask on, we can't see our mouths anymore. It's, I didn't realize how much I lip read. I had no idea how much I lip read. So smizing is your eyes smiling. So it, your mouth is covered by the mask, but your eyes still smize. So they smile, smiling eyes, smize. Um, so I make sure I smize at people. I actually probably speak more to people that I don't know. And say things like good morning, good day, because I want them to know that I, you know, see that they're not you being acknowledged them. I'm also never on my cell phone when I'm talking to somebody at a um, service position. Like if somebody's helping me in a drive through somebody's helping me at a grocery store, I can talk to that person. I don't got to be acting like a butthead sitting on my phone. It's ridiculous. Anyway, talk to people that you do know and don't know. And I always treat people the best I can with respect because I am in a 12-step program and I don't want to have to make amends. So people even that are not nice to me, it's one of my positions that I work at. I am 100% nice to them because they're a human being and I care about their well-being. I care about other people's well-being that they're involved in. And I'm going to always try to my best to be respectful of that person. I don't want it to come back that Mimi see it or Mimi did or whatever. Anyway, so I do my best to be nice. And um, I always feel better in the end. I didn't 
I don't attack them like I'm being attacked. And so I feel in the end of the at the end of the day, I can lay my head down on my pillow and I'm not stressed out about what I have done or how inappropriate I acted towards them. Because if you get squeezed, what comes out? Learn that from Ed Young at Fellowship Church, Great Bud. If you get squeezed, what comes out? So yes, my mind may be thinking, oh my God, I can't do this, but my my body is saying and my actions are showing respect and kindness as I'd want them to show to me, even if they choose not to. I still don't have to make amends, and at the end of the day, my you know 10 step is clean. Supporting family members or friends, making sure, like I went out and I hung out with my mom, and it was so nice. Um, I'm not doing that to support her. I just wanted to be around her, and I, so I got a chance to do that outside of the nature preserve. So just being around your friends and family is a big deal. Like being around them, supporting them. If they need something, if they need like, you know, a medication brought to them, make sure that you follow the CDC and the, uh, the WHO rules, uh, WHO rules. Anyway, um, so you're not like making anybody sick, especially because I work in a hospital. But be sure that you are um, taking care of the people around you. If you can mail them something that they need, mail them something they need. I don't, I mean, something little that makes a difference that they actually, you know, you actually care about their well-being. And then... Um, Make sure that you're also taking care of yourself. So in supporting others, you're another. You cannot give to someone what you do not have. I learned that from someone who I recently have not been with for quite a bit of time. But you cannot give what you don't have. So if you don't have energy and you don't have anything to give, then you need to re-energize yourself and take care of yourself before you can give to others. That makes a big, big difference. And that's a big thing. So look around and see who can support you. Ask for help. Get help. Um... But don't try to, you can't fill from an empty cup. Not going to work. So some days when I can't give any more because I've been attacked all day at work, then I will give myself a second to breathe, relax, and then go. Because I don't want to treat my family poorly because of the way that um, other people are treating us. Um, anyway, on the, on the phone the other day, I was uh, yesterday I was attacked by a client. They were thing saying that this whole thing is not real. There's no real illness in this world. That, um, that we're all following this protocol and we're, we're, you know, this whatever, this isolation protocol is all a lie and it's all the government, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, sir, well, since I still want to get paid, how can I help you with these parameters? So I, either way, they were yelling, and, like literally yelling in the phone if I could hear them with the phone away from my ear. I just kept going because I thought, everybody's got their opinion. Your opinion is right for you. My opinion is right for me. I'm not going to change your mind and you're not going to change mine. So anyway, I kind of went on a tangent. But connect to others, very, very important. Do what you can to connect to others. Um, make a gift for somebody if you can. Like, I mean, a little earring or something. The rocks in, that I'm painting here in a way are connecting to others or strangers. But I'm painting the rocks in like glittery colors and hopefully some little girl or boy finds it and thinks, oh my God, that's a cool rock and takes the rock home and then passes it on or finds another place to put it. Connection is very important. There's a Barbie song that's coming in my head now. Connection. Conne it's from some Barbie movie I'm sure me and my, my daughters watched. So, this is Mimi, born to sparkle and shine. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Make sure you take care of yourself, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and get some rest. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit like if you like this video, comment down below, and share with other people. Bye-bye.